Coming in around 4,500 pounds. This is a uh, 26 bh J flight back here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. We originally sold this when it was brand new. She's had two owners. Um, being a, an 08, I'm actually pretty happy with the, the overall uh, condition of it. Couple little battle scars and bumps and bruises, and we're gonna take some time to really look at those in depth. But really nothing that concerns me here. If you got a half ton or a big SUV and you're looking to do some family camping, you're looking for a first camper, you're trying to get out of a pop-up, this is gonna be a solid option for you guys. Looking through the inside for a few minutes now, uh, talking to the previous owner, I really haven't discovered anything out of the ordinary for an 08, nothing that really gives me a real serious, oh my God, sort of concern. I think everything in here has been uh, pretty well maintained. I think mother nature got the best of them at one point. This is the only uh, significant thing of note I found in here, is there are two areas where there is some cold cracking to the floor. Um, it's not water damage. I can stomp all over this thing, even with my foot right next to the vent, and it's solid as solid can be. We're walking on a plywood, uh, you know, 5 8 tongue groove deck floor. Um, it's just weather got to it. The uh, the tile cracked up a little bit, and that's all she wrote. Now, it you could go to the extent of getting that replaced. You could do that. You could cut out the bad flooring and put in some new stuff. There is one other little spot of that here in the bathroom. Uh, right over here next to that vent. So it's at all the normal places you expect to experience cold cracking on the corners of the vents. Um, but frankly, being an 08, given the value of the trailer, if that's the worst thing we're looking at, I think we're doing fine. And I think you, you put a little runner rug right down there, and then you put a wastebasket or something in the bathroom so that you never have to actually step on or, or visualize these items. And I think you're going to be pleased as punch. So if you're okay with a $10 rug fix, other than that, We've got a we've got a nice uh, like if you're tired of a pop up or if you're looking for a first time camper or you've been out of camping for a while and like let's say hey grandpa and grandma we want to go camping we want to take the grandkids out we want to form some fun memories with them while we still can this is perfect for something like that um, you know especially with the weight very half ton towable big SUV towable you know you're gonna be fine there now being a J flight this is tall person friendly which is one of the reasons I basically camp in just a newer version of one of these. Um, it is 6.9 to the interior ceiling panels instead of 6.5. You can see we do have central air and heat, which not all of the what you call starter campers of this uh, floor plan type are going to uh, you know be that. I do like the extra countertop extension, uh, the you know three drawers instead of two, plus a bonus drawer below the uh, refrigerator over there. You know there are some little niceties, some extras bumped into this. One other little glitch I've noticed, which is basically every camper that had this Jensen stereo, is the little clip on the stereo thing doesn't work so you know what the solution to that is um this was you know made before we all had all the you know entertainment in the world at our fingertips you plug this into the auxiliary input you hit the auxiliary button and you set your phone up here or your device of whatever variety and you're good to go so again that's a you know cheap low dollar fix for i guess a, a technical glitch if you will what is nice about this too you know being a jaco dealer I'm pretty familiar with this camper. Actually, we sold this camper when it was brand new. This is two owners. Um, so uh, we sold it to the first owners. They traded it in. And uh, the, the second owners are uh, the, the ones for whom we are selling this RV on consignment right now. Now, you know, you look through, like, your upholsteries, your fabrics, and this is a really good indicator to see. Yeah, this is in good shape. You can see that it's not torn up. I am very happy with the condition of this overall. This is... A purely cosmetic item that just doesn't concern me much I I would of course prefer it if it wasn't there and I know you would too but at the end of the day it's not really hurting anything it's just a cosmetic item that again with a simple cheap rug you can just cover that up and you're good to go um, this is the traditional Jack and Jill bunk which kind of gave way to the double double bunk houses what I like about these old ones is that it gave you a real easy step for the kids to get to the upper bed and it does provide them with a measure of their own storage um, this is a, uh, a something of a split bathroom what I like about this is you have a, your dedicated bathroom sink it's separated from the enclosed portion of the bathroom. So if we do have a bunch of kids, we can have one kid using the toilet or the, the tub or whatever, getting ready for bath time or at night, and then the other kid can still brush their teeth or wash their hands or anything. It lets you get more kids ready and done faster. Now in here, again, being extra tall, you do have that headroom where even a tall guy like me can stand in here no problem. 
bathroom is simple but effective. I don't know what more you need it to be. Being a camper without a slide is advantageous sometimes because it is lighter weight, less money. Some people uh, will say, yeah, there's also fewer things to go wrong. I prefer not to look at it from that regard, but I understand the logic. Uh, what I like about it is it is carpetless and it is easy to clean. Now, you'll also find we got, like, I have none of the lights on in this camper. I didn't even, uh, you know, turn anything on because with all the windows in here, it's plenty bright and you get awesome cross breeze. And I love this big window over at the campsite. So if mom and dad are sitting here, you're playing cards with friends, shooting the breeze, whatever, look out the window, keep an eye on your campfire, the picnic table, the kids, make sure, I mean, they're going to hit each other. Just make sure they're not hitting each other too hard kind of situation, you know. Um, the sofa and the dinette can both fold down into sleepers. There's a little bonus storage below both of them. This is uh, uh, the only area I noticed any sort of wear at all on any seating. And again, on an 08, if that's the worst I've found, I think we're doing okay. I, again, I'm not unhappy with anything I see in this camper. I think all in all, it is uh, pretty solid. Uh, so our bedroom, we do have the accordion-style door over here. So you can privatize the front bedroom area if you want, if you want to break that line of sight. The bed is easy lift. There are struts below it. And uh, the previous owners, they had a TV over here in the bedroom area. And they actually put in that little shelf just to add a little simple DVD player. So again, simple, easy, low dollar solutions, if you even care, are the only things that this camper needs. Because in terms of use and function, I mean, it's fine. Everything's in good working order. So outside here, uh, I see some good things. I see they put on a power tongue jack. Uh, previous owner put on a set of those like 16 color, multi-light, strobe light, give you a seizure sort of awning lights here. And that's what this black wire here is. If that's throwing some people off, don't have a heart attack over that. What he did not want to do is he did not want to drill a hole through the side of his camper to try to hide wiring. He was okay with the fact that when he got to his campsite, he would run that wire along the gutter and run it straight down to the battery as opposed to drilling holes that could be possible leak points into his RV. I can totally understand and respect that. That's something I can get on board with. Um, looks like it was clean, well kept. I can't find problems with the tires. I'm not seeing any huge levels of corrosion. Um, the re only reason it's here, they were so happy with the J Flight. They upgraded to a bigger J Flight. They got a big 32 foot two slide bunkhouse J Flight from us and they're still camping today. Now, Right away, you're going, whoa, buddy, red flag. Why am I looking at a bathroom ceiling vent in the front pass-through? And the answer is because this is spare parts. Um, the owners had it, second owners, current, uh, I guess the most recent folks anyway, had it uh, for a little while, and the bathroom vent fan motor went out. So he went to an RV surplus store, bought an entire vent with fan just to rob the motor from it, and then just kept the rest of the parts. So let's say, God forbid, something falls on the trailer and breaks the bathroom vent lid. You could do a full replacement and have the parts for it right there and just take that motor and swap it over here and have extra parts. Kind of like the uh, corner screw trim. That is the little stuff that goes in these little corner molds right here. Over time, the sun hits those and causes them to, to shrink and expose screw heads. Well, he didn't want exposed screw heads to corrode and cause a leak, so he proactively had extra stuff laying around. I like seeing proactive measures of maintenance. That is very confidence building to me. This is somebody who you know, they knew how to take care of a camper. They used it, for sure, and things happen when you use an RV, but it's not beat up. And I've never heard a single person be disappointed about the upgrade to a power tongue jack to save you that tennis elbow. So you've got that big full pass-through, and this was built when Jacob was still uh, putting partitions under the bed pass-through. In today's world, it's actually big and wide open. Uh, all of your windows are gonna open for ventilation, which is sharp. Uh, this There's no special Four Seasons nonsense on a little camper like this. Oh, Max Air vent cover up there on the bathroom vent. So that's helping protect that thing too. Full outside utility shower, which when this was built, that actually was very uncommon. This has got a like a 4,800 pound rated roof. A lot of people actually argue that Jayco roofs are overbuilt, but I think a lot of those people are people that work at other, you know, manufacturing facilities. Um, I, I do understand what they're saying, but uh, more structure, I think most people are going to argue, is better than less or no structure. Um, again, I can't really find anything that terribly concerns me here. Like the steps aren't rusted and rattly. Galvanized steel wheel wells, so God forbid your tire catches some debris and you have a blowout on the road. There's no problems or concerns there. Uh, looks like an upgraded King Jack uh, TV antenna up top. Or they, uh, they took the existing crank up down antenna system and replaced the head with a better King Jack antenna. For folks who are not using part cable but still want to get some over the air function, you can do that here. So, 
overall i'm pretty happy with it previous owners you can see put uh put some simple smart money into it they were um active on their preventative maintenance they did anything they reasonably could you know eventually if mother nature wants to mother nature can beat us all um but uh i mean i'm happy with anything that i see here so yeah whether you need uh financing parts hitching anything give us a call here at halid rv we'll get this one on the back of your vehicle uh deliver it to your house whatever we need to do we'll get you camping this there's a lot of fun family memories to be uh, had in this one here so take care stay safe have fun and happy camping everyone